Hey there, New Life. Excited to get into God's Word with you today. Looking forward to our time together as we really do get into God's Word and allow it to get into our soul, our spirit, and ultimately transform who we are and how we live our life. I'm the youth pastor here at New Life Church, so I oversee all student ministry things, sixth graders all the way to twelfth graders. And one of the things we do that I absolutely love is our motion events that take place uh, in the fall and in the spring. If you've never been a part of one of our motion events, I encourage you next spring to be a part. It's so much fun. It's so great to be a part of something bigger than yourself. Uh, but these are events that we do for students, and we focus them towards students who have never really been in church, heard the name Jesus, or maybe they've just never been a part of anything like this. We're very intentional with that being our audience. And so with that, there is a lot of planning. There's a lot of intentionality. We bring in Chick-fil-A, we bring in inflatables, all these different kinds of things. But I gotta let you know, if we showed up the day of the event hoping for all of that stuff to happen, we would be sorely mistaken. That all these things were just gonna happen in one day, all this stuff that took months of planning, we were just gonna take care of it all in one day, that, that'd be kinda silly. But a lot of times we think that that might happen in our lives when in actuality it didn't take place all the day of the event. No, probably 90% of the work was already done before we ever got to the event on the day of. You know, I kind of wonder what would happen in our lives if we started viewing us as not people who need to do the whole work, but what if we just simply partnered with what God was already up to in the lives of people around us and we were just coming on to further the work, further the mission of the church and what God is trying to do. What if I said this, that God, where have you already begun to work in the life of someone else? And how might I position myself to work where you have already begun? God, the, the scripture says that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion. Man, God starts the work. We get to partner along with what God is already doing in our own lives but I believe that's so also with our community, that God has begun a work in our community. I believe it's in our church, that God has begun a work in our church. I believe it in your family, that God has begun a work in your family, in your school, in your place of work. And God's going to carry that on to completion. But man, God likes to bring people along for the ride. And I believe God wants to bring you along for the ride. But are you positioning yourself to be aware and sensitive to what God is trying to do? Let me open up a passage of scripture found in the book of Acts. And I think it is an awesome depiction of what I'm trying to communicate today. In Acts chapter 10, verse 19 through 20, uh, this is the early church. And so we have Peter, the disciple of Jesus, who is about to get involved in someone's life who we usually wouldn't get involved with. And it takes a vision from God from two people for this to actually take place. But backing uh, up from even, uh, let me just read the, the scripture. Acts 10, verse 19 through 20 says this, while Peter was thinking about the vision, the spirit said to him, Simon, three men are looking for you. So get up, go downstairs. Do not hesitate to go with them for I have sent them. Going back a little bit from this story, we have a guy named Cornelius who was a Gentile and he was a part of the, the, the military and, and he had all these people with him, but he was a God fearing man. And so he had prayed, but he got to the point where God wanted to do more in his life. And so he needed some help to get to the more that God wanted for him. And so he brought Peter along into this situation. And so Peter ends up in this Cornelius guy's life without ever seeking him out, without knowing the story, but believing and obeying the prompting of God. I love in this story that Cornelius asked for help before the right person was even a part of the story. Cornelius was asking God for more. Cornelius was asking for God to use him more. Cornelius was asking for a more in this story. And Peter was the key to the story, and yet Peter wasn't even involved yet. But Cornelius made a step. Cornelius reached out for help. I think that's a step that maybe you might need to take today. Maybe you're in a place where you are needing help, but you haven't made that, uh, that, that reach out in faith that God is going to come through for you today. Or maybe you're like Peter, who Peter didn't know the story. He didn't understand the whole context of what was happening in this situation. But he believed that God had asked him to do something. He went with these men. He stepped out in faith. Cornelius reaches out saying, hey, someone help me. And Peter takes the step to actually get involved and to be the help. Both of these were done in faith. Both of these were done without knowing the whole story. Both of these were done without knowing what was going to happen. And yet both of them 
by Cornelius reaching out and by Peter stepping out. I believe God was glorified in this story. So let me ask you today, what are you trying to take on on your own that you actually need help with? What are you trying to make happen that on your own you're not able to happen? What are you trying to achieve that you can't achieve by yourself? And actually, by trying to do it all on your own, you're actually robbing God and someone else the opportunity to come through for you. Man, what are you doing on your own that you need the help of the church to partner with you to make that dream happen? But then also, let me ask you this. How are you positioning yourself to be sensitive to the needs of the people around you but also how are you positioning yourself to do something about it? Maybe you're like Cornelius today and you have some needs that you need met. Man, reach out. But then maybe you might be like Peter who might be able and in a position where you see the needs, but then you're also in that position to do something about the needs. Man, step out in faith. Be a part of someone else's story. God is up to something in your context. Are you looking for it? I believe you can be what God needs you to be in someone else's story. Get involved in what God is trying to do. Let me pray. God, you're awesome. You're amazing. Lord, thank you for stories uh, in the Bible, but then also I'm believing for stories in our lives where God, you are up to something in someone else's life and we're gonna come alongside and further the work that you're doing in their life. Lord, help us to position ourselves to be able to reach out for help, but then also to extend help for those who are in need. God, give us wisdom and give us discernment in this area this week. I pray in your name. Amen. Hey, have a great rest of your week.